One of Summer's other little gifts for cool season lawns comes in the form of disease and lawn fungus. I'll show you how I'm taking a new approach to combating this lawn nuisance. Stay tuned for the video. So if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button and giving a thumbs up for this video if you find it useful. So what causes disease? This little triangle of summertime pain, there are three elements to lawn disease. The host, which is our turf, the pathogen, which causes the, the actual element of the disease, and last but not least is the environment. The humidity and soil pH all contribute to the pyramid of disease and fungus. My approach is a little different this year. I'm using both a granular and a liquid consisting of both oxoxystrobin. The granular formula I'm using is the Scott's Disease X and the liquid is the Exoxy 2SC. I picked this up from Yard Mastery and I'll leave a link below if you're interested in checking it out. So over the last few seasons, <clears throat> I've tried propiconazole, Eagle, 20EW and BioAdvance granular propiconazole and neither of these applications helped with my brown patch. So after researching and talking to some of my friends in the industry, I chose to go with an exoxystrobin for the entire year to see if that makes a difference. So the first thing that I did was I took my son Joe Thatcher and I did a light raking at a setting of zero to kind of clear up some of the debris and to make a better soil surface that should allow airflow and give the granular application a better path to the soil. So with the Scott's Disease X, you have two application rates, two pounds per 1,000 square feet for preventative maintenance or four pounds per 1,000 square feet for a curative maintenance. With the Exoxy 2SC application rates for brown patch would be 0.38 to 0.77 ounces mixed into two gallons of water for 1,000 square feet per the label. For spot spraying, you would mix 0.4 ounces of the Exoxy SC per label and spray that for your spot sprays. So let's get to it and get this granular Scott's disease measured out at two pounds per 1,000 square feet, and then I'll come back and mix up the Exoxy 2SC. I highly recommend when you're using a liquid product like the Exoxy 2SC that you use the proper PPE gear. So when I go get ready to spray that, I will switch into pants and long sleeves so that that way I have the proper PPE gear on. So let me get this weighed out and let's get to it. All right, so like I said, we're gonna do two pounds of the Scott's Disease X. And I've got my scale here, I'm gonna tear it out. There we go, two pounds. Let's get this in the spreader and we'll throw it out. And let's see, a recommended spreader setting or for the Scots, obviously it's two and a quarter for the preventative. And I'm using the Echo RB60, so let's see what it says for the spreader settings at two and a quarter with the comparison chart. I pretty much know my settings, but just to kind of help you out a little bit. So if you see here, it says Scott's two and a half chart would be the same. So what I found is mostly the Scott's and the Echo are pretty much the same. All right, let's get this spread out. All right, so we got our granular applied. Now, I'm for the liquid. So I've got my long sleeves on, I got my pants on, we're ready to rock. 
So I'm going to be using my Sprayers Plus F825E today. This is normally what I use to do all my foliar applications because I already have the T-Jet fan nozzle, 110 degree fan nozzle tip already on it, which stays on at all times. Since we got to do two gallons, let me grab the hose. We'll put a gallon in and then do the mix. Another quick little tip. I take all mine and I mark them with a highlighter or excuse me, a Sharpie to show where my one gallon, one and a half, two gallons, etc., are on my container so that way I can see it. All right, so now that we got a gallon in there, like I told you from the Exoxy, we're gonna go 0.77. So, so I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's pretty much, it's close. It's really close. It's in just above half, just below the one ounce. So that's what we're gonna go with. Purge the line. And let's get the spraying. So I'll do two passes. I'll go north and south, east and west to make sure I get good coverage. All right, so that's it. I got two applications in, front yard, backyard. I have applied the Exoxy Strobin uh, 2SC and the Scott's Disease X at a preventative rate on the Scott's Disease X. Um, one note to add is for preventative measures, you wanna apply it every 14 to 28 days. Read your label. It will definitely uh, line out how you should be applying it. Hopefully you got some informative information out of this. Um, hopefully it was enough to get you to hit that like and subscribe button as content creators we always appreciate when folks subscribe to our channels uh, this has been a fun one um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one be safe